Hello and welcome to our seminar week in the Baltic States. I will talk about the performance of farm safe seeds and the inefficiency of winter all seed rape. I want to introduce you shortly to the agenda of my um, presentation for you. First of all, I will talk about the farm safe seeds and I will introduce you to um, yeah, results from Europe, how to see the differences between hybrids and farm safe seeds sown in trials. And I will show you some results from our internal RAPOOL trials in Poland just from the last season 2020-2021. After that, I will uh, switch the topic to inefficiency. Um, what does inefficiency mean? Um, why we are talking about inefficiency? Which factors influence the inefficiency? And how inefficient is our new genetic? And, of course, I will show you results of our RAPOOL internal trials, where we also have different end treatment levels and sowing dates. In Poland, 20, 2021. At first, I want to give you a short statement um, for farm safe seeds. It is illegal to sow farm safe seeds from hybrids. This is clearly expressed in the law for sowing and re-sowing seeds. So please, if you're sowing hybrids, do not use any seeds from your hybrids to sow them again in your fields. Beside this fact within the law, um, there are studies in France from 2019 where we've seen Eight, nine locations where were sown hybrid seeds and farm safe seeds and they were tested together in the trial and the results were very clear that farm safe seeds does not pro perform so well as the hybrid seeds. We see a clear difference between 0.8 tons per hectare which means 70% relative yield which is massive at the now high prices for rapeseed. So if you lose only um, yeah, this amount, so nearly a ton per hectare, uh, you will lose about 480 kilos per hectare from your farm safe seeds compared to hybrid seeds. As well, the oil content is lowered by 0.4%. Next to that, also traits what we implemented in the hybrids to ensure the winter hardiness is lost due to this neutral separation of the traits within the hybrids. So you will have uh, uneven uh, development of the plants in your, in your field and then the winter kill is more um, risky. Here I also can show you again the results of yield. So we had 65% of the trials which lost more than half a ton of yields per hectare. Why does it happen? Hybrids split up in their parental lines and traits like turnip yellow virus, foma and clubroot and also the quality of the oil is lower. So you have a lower oil content, you have a lower quality of the oil and you also risk the loss of the pot shatter resistance, which you also need in harvest time, if the conditions are not favorable. The winter hardiness is lower, the plant development is uneven, and this makes the timing for treatments and harvests, harvest more difficult. With a very high probability to lose more than half a ton uh, from each hectare, you lose every time 300 euros just by re-sowing not legal seeds. In addition, um, the usage of farm safe seeds stops the progress in breeding. We need to protest to get the hybrids closer to the climate changes and to adapt it more to your needs and to your further needs in the market like higher quality of the oil, more trades within one hybrid. So please do not save um, seeds from hybrids and sow every time fresh seeds, certified seeds from your 
distributors and dealers. Also in Poland, in our internal trials, we've seen that the yield differences are huge. Duplo had a yield decrease of 700 kilograms per hectare, and also Aquila lost m nearly 400 kilograms per hectare just by using the next generation of these seeds. And also the healthiness of the plants were lower. So we have here the scoring for the diseases before harvest, and Aquila was the healthiest hybrid in the whole trial with the lowest score of uh, yeah, diseases before harvest. And the farm safe seed version of Aquila had the highest score. So we, you see clearly here that the traits which in the hybrids will ensure the healthiness of your plants getting lost if you use the farm safe seeds. So this is my message for you regarding um, farm safe seeds. Please do not do it. <laughs> so now we are talking about N efficiency. N efficiency means grain yield divided by fertilized N. So this is the N efficiency. Why are we talking about N efficiency? That the polygotal decisions regarding the amount of N fertilization are more in focus. Even it's not a big topic in the Baltic states right now to decrease the amount of N for your winter oilseed rape. Your government has an eye on it. The European Commission showed this picture to uh, make a clear sign also regarding agriculture that they have a close eye to the contamination of nitrate in the groundwater caused by agriculture. And as well, next to that, N is the most efficient way to reduce the CO2 footprint of your agricultural products. So you do need a lot of uh, CO2 to produce one kilogram of N. And if you reduce the N fertilization, you also reduce the CO2 footprint of your products. So also this is uh, in the focus of our governments in the EU. Next to that, the prices for N fertilizers increased incredibly. So if you take a look at this graph here, you can see that in October and November, the prices just jumped up very high and there's no sign on the market that the prices will go down quickly. So you really have to uh, yeah, take a close look to your plants and calculate for yourself, is it worth it to give the kilograms of N what you usually do, or can you reduce the amount of N and you also get yields where you are satisfied with. Which factors influence N efficiency? Of course, we always have uh, factors where we can influence and we have uncontrollable factors. Factors who are influenceable are pre-crop, so it's your choice, which crop you're growing before old seed rape, the soil preparation, sowing date and sowing density, and of course the variety choice. Uncontrollable weather conditions. You all know, no one knows which weather we will have the next months and how the plants will cope with it. Water availability, comes the rain all at once or slightly divided few weeks or a few months. And also you do not should forget about the snow melt. So also this is water what your plants get um, for springtime. And as well, of course, the storage capacity of your soils. The soil condition. So are you on clay soil, sandy soil, um, which kind of soil you have in your regions and where you can work with. This is something you cannot influence. Pests and disease pressure. You do can control some pests and diseases due to pesticides, but also this is limited, as we saw with the ban of neonics. So what is about our genetics? So Rapul is the breeder for all seed rape, and we yeah, clearly want to show you that we are watching out for N efficiency. And this is just a yeah, a process of breeding. As you can see here, we have a differences between the best and the worst hybrid um, 
from about 28% with a high-end supply. And also in a low-end supply, we still have a differences of 25% compared with the worst old material and the newest best material. So this is the amount of N which is needed for one ton of oil. What's about our, our trial, our Rapool trial, where we are looking for solutions in breeding? So this is the trial from um, last year in Poland. We choose different hybrids like Atora, Temptation, Jurek, Duke, a Czech with Turnip Yellow Virus and Metropol. Also, we've chosen three different sowing dates. An optimum sowing date in the middle of uh, August, a late sowing date in the yeah, middle, beginning of September, and in the end of September, an ultra-late sowing date. And this we've done with five different doses of N, so 0N, 60 kilograms, 120, 180, and 240 kilograms of N. Here, just uh, to show you how the trial behaved in autumn last year. So this was the normal sowing um, date. We had rainfalls after sowing, and then again in uh, yeah, September, it was a little bit dry. <coughs> the sowing date with late plants, you already see we have here smaller plants, and ultra-late, of course, even smaller plants than late. If we take these three next to each other, you can clearly see um, yeah, there are some worries about the ultra-late tri trial, if it will develop quite well over winter. Um, you never know how the winter will be. Luckily, last year we had a strong winter with a lot of snow cover, so the plants were not um, yeah, stressed by hard frosts. And as you can see in our results, the late sowing trial did not, um, or the ultra late sowing, sowing trial, did not had any troubles with the yield level. So even here you can see that these small, small plants before winter, they could develop quite well and still got yeah, good yield results. But we want to talk about the N efficiency. So you can see here the first 60 kilograms of N getting yeah, the most effect on the plants. So we have a yield increase about nearly 70%. The next step to 120 kilograms are about 15%, which is still massive if we think about the prices. If we calculate this with uh, yeah, money, what this is the most interest for you, we have a plus of 150 euros per hectare between 60 kilograms and 120 kilograms. But if you are putting on top 60 kilograms of N with the prices right now, you even lose money. So really think about your N fertilization. What do you really need? And uh, is it worth it? Do you expect a lot more yield if you give extra N? To sum up and give you an outlook, um, the highest yield effect were realized from 0 to 60 kilograms with uh, yeah, nearly 70% of yield increase. And the next step from 60 to 120 kilograms per N are still visible with 15% yield increase. The oil can content is going down from 0 to 240 N per kilogram N per hectare with almost 2%. So as higher the amount of N fertilization, as lower your oil content. The cross output uh, was calculated with uh, the cost of N with two kilograms per with two euros per kilogram and uh, 600 euros per ton for oilseed rape. So please invest in 120 kilograms M per hectare, because this is still profitable. But think about more N very yeah, clearly and try to find your way somewhere in between, maybe. Our new genetic is very inefficient, as you could see in our trials. And uh, we can have 
quite nice yields with a lower amount of N. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions regarding N efficiency or farm safe seeds, please do not hesitate to contact us or our team Rapul Baltics. Stay healthy and goodbye.